I'm Fully Batibo with a look at some of the stories we're covering here on Al Jazeera. Filipino peacekeepers from the United Nations have been attacked in the area of separation in the Golan Heights. About 1,200 UN peacekeepers monitor the line between the Israeli occupied area and the Syrian held area of the Golan Heights. Jackie Rowland has more from Jerusalem. Basically, what's happening is that the situation for those UN peacekeepers appears to be deteriorating. We already knew that 44 Fijian UN peacekeepers were being held by rebels. They've been held for a couple of days now. The way in which the situation is deteriorating is that a group of Filipino peacekeepers, part of the same UN peacekeeping force, are now under attack in their base. They've been holed up in the base under siege by rebels for a couple of days now. They've refused to surrender. They've refused to hand in their weapons. But now the UN is saying that they are coming under attack by Syrian rebels in that area. A coup attempt is underway in the southern African nation of Lesotho. The military is on the streets and is reported to have taken over police stations and media networks. The small kingdom is completely surrounded by South Africa. Egypt's highest religious leader is expected to rule on a death sentence handed down to the spiritual leader of the Muslim Brotherhood. Mohamed Badir was given the sentence in June. The Grand Mufti has already rejected it once but was asked to reconsider. The European Union is considering more sanctions against Russia after accusing Moscow of invading eastern Ukraine. EU leaders who will meet in Brussels later on Saturday are also expected to discuss Ukrainian requests for military assistance. And you can find the very latest on all those stories and much more on our website, aljazeera.com. Thanks for watching.